Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Pradeep Ravi Kumar, um, uh, and I'm in the machine learning department at CMU. My research group's uh, main focus is on uh, next-gen statistical machine learning. Um, all of you, or perhaps most of you, have really seen the wonderful successes of AI in recent years in playing games and whatnot, right? um, being able to detect skin cancer better than doctors. But the unfortunate reality is that um, other than some highly specialized settings where we have a lot of data, um, AI is not really that capable, let alone artificial general intelligence right, that Musk, Elon Musk is worried about. Um, AI is not even capable of um, really tackling specific but complex high stakes problems like autonomous cars, healthcare law. And if you think about why that is the case, um, the unfortunate answer is that it's really due to the essence of modern machine, modern AI, which is the statistical machine learning that underpins it. And statistical machine learning, as you can see from the word statistical, is representing um, information uh, in the form of distributions. And that's what it uses to reason as well. And the main problem with such distributional semantics, as they call it, is that it's not flexible enough for complex settings. It's not graceful enough in the sense that it's not robust, it's a little bit brittle, and it's not transferable enough in the sense that you train it in one setting, but then it does not transfer to even a slightly modified setting. So let me provide some vignettes about how we are approaching this problem. And in terms of some terminology, um, what we are trying to go for is what um, some people call third wave AI. So first wave AI is where the systems were uh, largely built off of high level symbols like uh, hand and eyes and nose. And they were um, um, essentially doing the representation as well as reasoning uh, based off of these high level symbols. And second wave AI is what we have right now where we're using these uh, large scale uh, statistical machine learning models to, to do our representation reasoning. But it's what we need is third wave AI that combines both of these elements. So, um, what we are working on is really tackling uh, this along multiple dimensions of model architectures, learning algorithms, and learning frameworks. And in particular, with this bit of model architectures, uh, what we are doing is kind of throwing out the deep neural networks, um, which are essentially the state-of-the-art uh, model architectures, but taking the key underlying mathematical insight that un underlies those and bootstrapping those off of things that we understand better. Um, and you need this kind of a backbone that you can understand better so that you can then bootstrap off of that for third wave uh, AI architectures. And a key application domain that we are actually working on towards this is subseasonal forecasting, uh, weather forecasting, which is to be distinguished from normal weather forecasting, which is stuff three days out, to climate forecasting, which is 100 years out, and subseasonal is medium term. And the unfortunate fact is that statistical machine learning works on none of these issues, on none of these settings. Uh, scientific models work well on weather and climate, but they don't work at all on subseasonal uh, forecasting problems. So this is a setting where neither scientific models nor machine learning do anything better than random. Right? Um, it's really not better than random. It's really that bad. So this is a test bed for a third day of AI uh, um, systems. Also want to briefly talk about the graceful uh, AI. So what do I mean by graceful? It means multiple things. It can mean ethical. Uh, so if you have an autonomous car, right, um, and uh, the brakes are failed, should it kill the passenger to save three, uh, four uh, other uh, um, pedestrians? But what if one of the pedestrians is a baby? But what if two of them are bank robbers? These are all interesting questions um, that um, uh, are actually debated um, uh, on MTR um, uh, on uh, one of our approaches to tackle this. Um, another thing that we expect from um, um, graceful AI is that it be explainable. And you need this for reasons of law uh, and also humans want it. They, we want AI systems that we can understand. And what's more, we want AI systems that are robust, that are not brittle. So if I just add a little bit of noise to either the training data or test data, then that should not really affect things. Um, and a key application domain um, that we are 
uh, uh, using is clinical analogy. 